welcome. Today, I want to show you how to take a Character Creator 4 character, bring it into UE5, and use it as your third person character. Create your character in Character Creator 4. Go to File, Export, FBX, and Clothed Character. In the Target Tool preset, choose Unreal, FBX Options, Mesh, and hit Export. In order to continue with the tutorial, you're going to need the Auto Setup for Unreal Engine plugin, which is available from Reillusion. Leave Character Creator open for the time being. For now, we're going to go and open Unreal Engine 5. Create a new project, a third person project, and name this project whatever you desire. Unreal Engine 5 will open with the new project, and obviously, currently, we have this. In order to replace this with our characters from Character Creator 4, reopen Character Creator 4, go to Plugins, Character Creator and Iclone Auto Setup, go to Browse Files, go into the Unreal folder, and look for this, Auto Setup 1.23, or whichever version you have for Unreal Engine 5. In there, you will find these two folders, Plugins and Content. Select them both and copy and then go to your project folder, here is mine, and paste. Now we need to go back and restart the engine. You can now close Character Creator 4. Back inside Unreal Engine 5, make sure this plugin is enabled. If for some reason this icon isn't here, go to Edit, Plugins, Type, Auto Setup, and you'll see it here. Simply enable it and restart the engine. Let's first import our character. I'm going to go into Characters, right click and create a new folder and name this CC4. Go into that folder and we're going to create a folder for our first character. Import a game, characters, CC4, and your character folder. I'm going to choose a leaker first. And I'm going to choose high quality shader. It, this all depends upon what you require. During import, you will be presented with this dialog. Leave skeleton to none. Click advanced. Click update skeleton reference. Use T0 as reference pose, import morph targets, and import mesh LODs. Uncheck animation, and hit import. With our character imported, the first thing I want to do is do some cleanup. There will be an FBM folder, or which ends in FBM. Drag that into textures, move here. I now want to create a common skeleton that we can use between all our character creator four characters. On the imported skeleton, rename to CC4 skeleton. Now go to our main CC4 folder in content characters CC4. Create a new folder and call this common. Go back into our character folder and drag the skeleton into common. Move here. Save all. You now have imported your first character and you've created a skeleton that can be shared between all your imported characters. Next, I want to create an IK rig for each one of my characters. This can be a lengthy process, so we're going to cheat. Go to characters, Mannequin UE4, Rigs, and from here, select all three of these and drag them to your character folder. Choose Copy here. 
Go back to your character folder. Rename the IK rig. The same as your character. In my case, Alika. And we'll set a prefix of IK. Next, we want to rename the RTG UE4 Mane UE5 Mane. So it's now called Alika UE5 Mane. Next, go to RTG UE5 Mane UE4 Mane. This one is very important as this is the one we will be using for the third person project. So rename this. It is now called RTG UE5 Mane Alika. Right click on our RK rig. Go to Asset Actions, Bulk Edit via Property Matrix. Open Display. If it doesn't show, you can go to Window, Display. Go to Imported Skeleton. Expand. Come over here to these dots. Pick Asset. And from here, I'm going to choose our character, Alika. Hit Save. In my case, save all. Close. Now, if we open up our IK rig, Alika is here, but you will notice the goals are in the wrong places. Click on preview scene. If it's not here, you can choose here, preview scene settings. Go to preview mesh, hit clear, apply to asset, and save all. Go back to preview mesh, choose a leaker, hit reset to reset the pose and save. Again, I'm going to do a save all. Now we have an IK rig for our character. Since this is a hack, for now I'm going to disable the full body IK. But we can may come back later and play with these settings, although it's beyond the scope of this tutorial. For now, we can close the IK rig. Next, I want to open up RTG UE5 Mane Alika. And this will give us this. Our source IK asset is the new UE5 mannequin. And our target is currently the old UE4 mannequin. From this target IK asset list, Choose IK Alika, and I'm going to set the preview mesh to Alika. Hit save, and now when we click on an animation, as we can see, it's working reasonably well. Again, because the full body IK is disabled, it's not perfect. We can now close this retargeter. In this folder, I want to right click, animation, and I'm going to choose animation blueprint. It will ask for us to pick a skeleton. In this case, we're going to choose CC4 skeleton and create. And we will call this Alika and retarget BP. Open up that animation blueprint and you'll be presented with this. If for some reason you're not, double click here on anim graph. Right click, type retarget and choose retarget pose from mesh. Join the nodes together hit compile. You'll get this error. Come over to the details panel. If it doesn't exist for some reason, you can come up to window and choose details. Ensure that a use attached parent is selected. IK retargeter asset. We're going to set that to RTG UE5 Mane Alika. So basically UE5 to our character. Select that. Hit compile to show you what I mean in case you are lost. If we open it up, it's just the retargeter we just created. 
Now we can close this. Next, we move on to our third person blueprint. Go to content, third person, blueprints, and open up BP third person character. Currently, it's set to Quinn. What I want to do is select mesh, type visible, uncheck visible, come down to advanced, visibility based anim tick option and choose this to always tick pose and refresh bones. Hit compile and save. Now with mesh selected, we can go back to content, characters, CC4, our character folder and drag the character mesh on top of mesh. It should now be parented to Mesh. Hit Compile. Select our character Mesh. Make sure Animation Mode is set to Use Animation Blueprint. And from this drop down, we are going to choose our Alika Retargeter BP that we created. And as you can see, we already have a retargeted character. At this point, we can hit play. You can improve animation by enabling the full body IK in your IK rig, but you will have to adjust these bone settings to get the desired result. That is beyond the scope of this tutorial and I haven't had much luck doing it. Next, I want to show you a common problem. I'm going to import our second character, Eddie. When the dialogue pops up, I'm going to choose skeleton as none again. This is because there is a bug inside the plugin that will break the import. I'm going to choose all the same settings as before and hit import. We repeat the cleanup process as before. Remember to save all after this process. Now at this point, I would normally advise using the common skeleton we created, but there is a problem. Eddie's skeleton has additional bones. He has a gun here. In this case, we cannot use a common skeleton. The common skeleton method only works if the character you import does not have additional bones. So in this case, we have to try something else. And it's fairly easy. We click on Eddie's skeleton. We go to compatible skeletons. First, to avoid a bug, we choose Eddie Skeleton as the first skeleton in our compatible skeletons list. Next, I want to choose our CC4 skeleton, our common skeleton. Hit save. Also, I want to double click on CC4 skeleton. And from the drop down list, I'm going to choose CC4 skeleton again. There, as our first compatible skeleton. And I'm going to add Eddie skeleton here. Hit save. And again, save all. Now our skeletons are compatible and we can use them inside blueprints. I will show you that now. A quick way of doing this is to go to our previous characters folder, select the IK retargeters, the IK rig, and the animation blueprint. Drag them to our Eddie folder, copy here. Go into our edit folder and rename the assets. With the assets renamed, we can now open up our IK rig and we'll be presented with our previous character. Because we've enabled compatible skeletons, we can now go to the preview mesh, hit clear, find edit, 
hit save, reset and save. That is our IK rig done. Next, I want to open up RTG UE5 Mane Ede. And this is how we had it set up before. I want to choose our IK Ede. And as the preview mesh, Ede. Hit save. And again, from here, we can simply test the animation. It's pretty good, but could be improved with a full body IK. To avoid compatibility issues, by this I mean character stretching, etc. We're going to use a separate animation blueprint for Eddie. This is not essential if your characters share the same skeleton, but in this case we must change it. So let's open up our animation blueprint. It's still set to Alika. And if we try to change it to Ede, because we now have compatible skeletons, we will get this warning. Obviously, we don't want to regenerate the skeleton. In this case, I'll hit no. To fix this error, go to class settings and actually set our Ede skeleton in the details panel under advanced target skeleton. Go back to preview scene settings and set the preview mesh to Ede. Hit compile and save, and that's it. We now have an animation blueprint for Ede. Double click on the anim graph, go to retarget pose from mesh, and in the details panel, we want to choose our RTG UE5 Mane Ede retargeter. Hit compile and save. Again, Using a separate retargeter for Ede will prevent stretching and other weird artifacts. We can now close this animation blueprint. At this point, I'm going to do a save all. Now, let's change our third person character to Ede. Go to content, third person, blueprints, and open up our BP third person character. Go to Alika, and here I can show you the compatible skeletons feature. We can simply choose Eddie, and it looks like Eddie's working absolutely fine. And in most cases, he will. The animation blueprint is working fine with him. But we've created a separate one for Eddie to make sure that the retargeting process goes smooth. So let's choose our Eddie retarget BP. You won't see a change, but that's fine. Hit compile and save, and we're going to name this to Eddie. Hit compile and save again. And now when we hit play, Eddie is our character. Again, the foot IK is not perfect and you will have to work on that by yourself. If you would like to support the channel, you can go to the link in the description and buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Alternatively, you can click the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. And that is it. That is how you use a character creator for character as your third person character inside Unreal Engine 5. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please remember to like and subscribe. It really does help. I'll see you in the next one.